Ladies and gentlemen, now for your official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the red corner, weighed in at 66.1. He's 22, stands 5'10". He fights out of IMA and hails from Leeds, Rabi Mbata. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighed in at 66. He's 24, stands 5'11". He fights out of Empower MMA and hails from Sheffield, Reese Comley. Your referee, Mr. Stefan Jochi. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we move straight on, straight on to our second fight of the night, amateur featherweight contest. Rabbi Mumbada fighting out of the red corner. He's in the black and white shorts, the immortal martial arts logo as he takes on Empower MMA's Reese Comby in the black venom with gold trim. Going to be open up with a beautiful low kick, very dynamic. Nice. With the shot, but good sprawl, good defense by Mbata there. Nice knee up the middle as well, mate. Can't be disengaged there. And you've only got to look who's in uh, Conley's cor corner there. The Jacobs to understand what he's going to be looking to bring to this fight. Absolutely. Beautiful knee there by Mbata. Controlling the chin strap there. Yeah, staying heavy. Again, looking to land that knee right into the bread basket. Nice shot selection so far from Mbada. He's not just not, not just working the head, head, body, clinch, knees, kicks. And uh, the newly formed IMA, um, headed up by Liam Cam. Anybody who knows anything about UK MMA knows his body of work. Oh, lovely trip. Straight into the mount there. Beautiful control there from the uh, body lock to the trip. And back on top right now. And full mount. Again, the, the presence of mind to, you know, he heard, did exactly what his corner asked, turned the man's head into the cage, did yep. exactly. Nothing better than having a coachable athlete, I would imagine. Oh, 100%. And you can just see his reach through, through there and batter for the um, bottom side wrist. And uh, could be looking to just get some, get decent hip position, get some balance and open up some strikes. Like how he's driving down with that head. Stand sticky and heavy. That's it, and he's got the hand free, but the wrist control was just a little bit too high towards the elbow of Comley, and he's managed to get the hand back through, but not fully yet, not fully. Really working to control that, the right wrist. Yes, and unfortunately there will be a point where he gets his hand free and unloads a couple of strikes. He's got the, the right wrist of uh, Comley and the right shoulder buried into the floor of Comley, which is leaving him one hand to defend what would be Mbata's power hand. Yeah, good round of control here. For Mbada. Comley Not just, rushing anything. Yeah, Comley just did well to get his legs back yep. into play and offset Mbata there. But Mbata now has better control, the wrist lock, and the leg lace. But time's going to run out on yeah. this one. It's, it's, it's position. He finishes the fight in yeah. the dominant position. If that position of the come, say, halfway through the round, you could have really seen him open up with some strikes Absolutely. There, that's classic Khabib, that sitting on the leg, lacing the leg, driving the hips in, and controlling the underside wrist. But calmly staying composed and calm underneath, didn't make any mistakes, took his time, worked to yep. get his knees back underneath him, back to the cage. Definitely. Um, and he started, he started with a lot of firepower, did uh, Conley in the first round. And but just um, a bit more, a bit more calm in the exchanges. Picked his entry, beautiful single leg takedown. Really kind of just ragdolled his man to the floor, um, and yeah, just dominated with positions. So um, if you're calmly now going on to the second round, you've just got to be aware of the entry of the shot. You know, it's okay having that offensive wrestling, but sometimes you've got to just, yeah, you know, you've got to do enough to keep it on the feet which I believe is where Comley had more success in the first round. He's got a bit of range, so if he works behind 
the straight shots. Yeah. He's going to have to, it, it's going to make Rabi better work to get inside. Easier said than done, though. Opens up with a nice low kick again, but a beautiful exchange of kicks by both. Oh, and bit of fireworks there. And, and Bat got the better of that exchange uh, yeah, in calmly, the end. They calmly yes. went into the clinch. Bit, a, a bit more in hope than in design, and now back on bottom, but now two and a half minutes to work in the round. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not where you want to be when you ended the last round on the bottom. Um, especially with a slow methodical fighter like Mbata. I'm not saying that he's slow at all. I mean, we've just seen him lighting up, come with there with the fist. But, but he doesn't rush position. No, so he he's, does he, not. He, he takes his time. He secures position. And right now, like we've explained earlier, being in guard bottom, it, <laughs> Comley's got all the work to do. Yes. Bart doesn't have to move. He does it. He can just sit there and hit you. If Comley wants to get up, he's got to open his guard. If Comley wants to submit you, he's got to open his guard. Yeah. And all the man on top has to really do is either beat you up or wait for you to open, open your, guard. your guard. Yeah. Easier said than done. Depends on who you've got underneath you. But <laughs> again, those long arms reaching around, trying to chip away. Heavy dig to the body there from Bada there. Yeah, and from time to time, you just see um, Conley kind of like squeezing his knees together, which is not going to do much. Um, anybody past the first day is not going to uh, tap or really react to that. Is he starting to, is he starting to bring, I thought for a moment he was starting to bring the guard up a little bit higher. And it looks like he's fishing for a bit of a triangle there, but or maybe again, you just trying thought to maybe he was trying through. to get the, the foot on the feet on the hips. Now wrist control is going to be um, better for Conway here rather than trying to um, you know by, by having the hand on the bicep, yeah, you're controlling the arm to an extent, but and can really get his weight through it. Whereas the wrist control, you've lengthened the lever; it's easier to manipulate. Um, and that's all that Comley was missing there. That's it. You can just hear Coach Liam Can shouting out, chipping shots, work on your breathing. You see the round. See the you're you're, yeah. you're in a dominant position. You're chipping away. You're winning this fight. Yeah. And, and now, you know what? now relax for the last 25 that, seconds. Get your it. breathing back. That's it. Win. Win Win the round. It's no accident that you keep on ending up on top. So it's not that he's in a rush like, oh, I finally got a position. Yeah. I'm going to try to finish it. You know, he's been here two rounds in a row. But you just see that. You just saw a few little um, pit of pat shots there from Conley at the end looking to take his hips up towards the head. But it was just too little, too, too late. Too late. Yeah. yeah. Your right idea, wrong time. And now you'd think it really is all to do for the Empower, man. 100%. And, and just the contrasting styles there towards the end. And Bata just, you know, chipping away with shots that aren't going to really drain the energy bank. Um, and Comley was actually working a lot harder, being in a worse position. Yeah. So you've got a fresh Mbata. Look at him. Cool as a cucumber, sat on his stool, having a chat with his coaches. And you've got, you know the corner of Comley shaking his arms out and, and you know Comley looks a little rattled right now he knows that it all kind of goes on this end round yeah I mean he really really does probably need to look for the finish here and yeah and uh, you know there's, there's nothing there's nothing in stone right now a finish can come at any second in the fight absolutely you know we only have to look as far back as Leon Edwards to see yeah uh, you can you can be down four rounds you can be down three rounds two rounds it don't matter finish can come and he's clearly got the firepower to do it threatens with that kick again that's it and about just picking his shots again then a few feints a little bit of head movement and then threw one shot out of all of it but it landed yeah Busier at the two at the moment, though, is calmly, but fighting with his back to the cage. And, ooh, beautiful there. Right on there by Comley, just rip it, whipping him back his head back. Heavy low inside leg kick. Nah, a little bit of a fire slapper there. It's given, it's given calmly no, I mean, 
his back is literally was literally six inches from the gate. He has nowhere to go backwards. And, and Mba just timed the single leg off the spinning back fist. That was absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Threw off the leg. Side control here. It was either an extremely great accident or, um, you know, his timing is phenomenal. But. Hey, man. See now if he looks to force his man up into the cage. Looking for the arm? Yeah, and I think at this point, Mba could really kind of like, he's two rounds up. He, he could, and he's not being put in any real danger. Um, no disrespect to Comley. No. He's got power. He, he, he's, when he lands a shot, it, it's good. But you know, he was the guy that was getting dropped in the first round or sliding down the cage. Yep. He's the guy that's been taken down two rounds in a row. If you're in batter now, put a stamp on it. Mark your authority. Make a name. Get that finish. Hunt for it. You know, there's no need to get reckless, but let's, you know, let's start hunting a head. Let's start hunting a neck or an arm. Yeah. Looking, him just trying to step yeah, trying over to the bottom leg there. Uh, stuff him into the cage, flatten him out, and knees to the body. It's yeah, knees to the body always. Always. <laughs> always. If in doubt, knees to the body. But it's, again, he, he takes his time. He stays st so sticky, so heavy on top. Yeah. And, you know... It's, it's nothing short of dominance here by Mbappé. Yeah. But unfortunately, MMA is a very fickle game, okay? And if you're not going to be a ticket seller, you need people to see, um, to want to see your fight. Yeah. Okay, you need to bring something. And three rounds of slow dominance. Chase? You know, you want that finish. Yeah. You, you want to, like, put a stamp on it and say, hey, you know, but I'm here. Again, it says something about Conley's will, you know, not just here to make up the numbers. And, no. you know, how f how frustrating is it that, you know, you, you're trying to implement your game plan. You're trying to... Jumps on the... He nearly had the guillotine. Yeah, there. almost to fit it with 10 side. seconds to go. But again, it puts a stamp on yes. the end of the round. And, and that's what, you know, the, the finish doesn't always materialize. But for Mbata, that's what I was saying. You've got to look for the yeah. finish. And he was. He did. He looked for yeah. the finish. And that's all you can ask for. Sometimes you can be the biggest finisher in the game and not get the finish. But when you're two rounds up, comfortable, yeah. dominantly, you got to go, right, you okay. Go um, through the gear a little bit. You might not ever get that opportunity again because as you go up the ranks, yeah. it gets a little bit closer. But all credit to uh, Conley there. He did come out fighting, had more of his success on the feet. He was just a little bit of loss for what to do against yeah. the very savvy Mbata on the ground. Uh, and Mbata uh, didn't make a lot of mistakes on the ground. He didn't give he didn't no. give Conley the opportunity to uh, exploit anything. He stayed heavy, he yeah. stayed sticky, and as you said, he took his time. Very methodical. That's that's an intelligent performance. Yes. Yeah, very intelligent, very intelligent, and. Uh, no doubt the wins are going to be there, but I'd like to see a bit more in the way of finishing. Give a quick shout out to Octagon FC for o Octagon UK, sorry, for sponsoring this fight, and we'll turn it over to Ms. Sef Mr. Seth Khan, who will make the result official. Fighters to the center of the cage, please. Fighters to the center of the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. 30 27, 30 27, and 30 26. Declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Rabbi Mbatam. Please show your appreciation for Reese Comley.